Hey guys, last week a company called Elegoo reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing their basic Arduino starter kit. So in this video, what I want to do is kind of walk you through the unboxing, kind of show you what you get here. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to put together just a little project to show you what you can do with just their basic kit. So you guys know that running a YouTube channel like this takes money and time. Now you can't help me with time, but if you'd like to help me with money, there are a few different ways you can do that, whether it's through Patreon, PayPal, Coffee, or any of the other uh, services that may be out there. I've got a link down in the description below where you can find one of those ways that's most convenient for you to contribute to the channel. Okay, so here is the box that you get. It's a, it's a fairly plain box, um, good with branding and whatnot, but not not too much going on on the outside here, but if we open it up, let's see if we can get this open without tearing it too badly. There we go. On the inside here, you're gonna see uh, basically kind of a list of everything that you're gonna get in this kit. And you're, so you're gonna get some red, yellow, um, uh, what else, blue, green, uh, LED lights, some white ones as well, um, five of those as well. You're gonna get some RGB, looks like one RGB uh, light. This is actually what we're going to use in our little project at the end. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of um, uh, resistors, it looks like 120 of those. You're gonna get a photo resistor, some buttons, um, a, a buzzer, an active buzzer there. Um, uh, a little control module there, a, bolt, a, a tilt ball switch, some male to female uh, connector wires, your USB wire, some jumper wires, and a little breadboard, and of course, the uh, the, Ard the um, Elegoo Uno R3. So let's go ahead and open this up a little further here. A little thank you card, kind of give you a little bit more information about them. So that's cool. Um, our Arduino, of course, I've already opened that and taken a look at it, but there's that. There is our data cable. Um, here are those 120 resistors. Um, what's nice about these, and hopefully you can see that, uh, these are labeled, and sometimes uh, you'll run into uh, resistors like this that aren't labeled, and that's a real pain. But uh, I've actually found a website where you can go and look up in fact, there's lots of these websites, but it's uh, the one I'll put in the description. lets you type in the color codes. It's real, real intuitive, and will tell you what it is um, in case you don't have, um, you know, uh, some kind of other device to tell you what that what that is. So, um, so that's that. I love that those are labeled. Uh, of course, we've got our buzzer, uh, our all of the other uh, buttons and switches and things that they mentioned. Um, we've got our our breadboard wires here. We've got some different lengths of these wires, so that's cool. Uh, here we've got those LED lights, uh, you know, the red and yellow, white, uh, blue, green. Uh, looks like there's an RGB in there, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, we've got some male to female wires. And of course, our little breadboard here. So uh, let's go ahead. Oops. Oh, there is also, I didn't see that before, a little CD in there so that you can uh, get an idea of coding and things like that. I don't know what's on here. I actually don't have an optical drive um, in any of my devices anymore. So I'm um, not sure what's really on there. Um, so there you go. So with all of that being said, I think it's pretty safe at this point to go ahead and put together just a little project to kind of show you uh, some of the things you can do. And of course, the project we're going to make here um, isn't terribly uh, practical. Uh, at least I can't think of a practical reason. Maybe you can. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll set up a little uh, our little breadboard here and uh, we'll hook some wires and a button and an RGB light up to it. And we'll toggle the colors of that light with the button. So. Let's go ahead and open this up. So there is our breadboard. And if you're not familiar with these, um, basically, um, like basically, let's see, row 30 um, went like, so you got, you've got your different rows from one to 30 here. Oops, let's, let's do it this way. So you've got your rows one and then all the way down to 30 down here. And then um, A through E, these are all on one rail, and then F, F through J, those are on a separate rail. And so you've got all of these um, that connect all the way across here. Um, there's a break in the middle, and then on either side, um, you've got a positive and a negative so that you can send power and ground uh, whatever it is you're doing through your Arduino itself. Um, so that's, that's what's going on here. So uh, let's go ahead, oops, set this 
here. And I've, I've already got some wires cut. Uh, I've already gone through this project once. I wanted to make sure that everything was gonna work before I went through this whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull uh, some of the stuff off of uh, my other project here. So first things first, we need a button. That's gonna be important um, to be able to toggle through uh, the different colors of our bulb. So next, we're gonna need our bulb. So we're gonna put our bulb in here. Now, the thing to notice or to note about these bulbs is, um, so basically this is going to be um, from, from uh, this side over here. So left to right is gonna be red, and then your ground, and then green, and then blue. Uh, so we want to make sure that we keep that in mind uh, when we're putting this in the breadboard. So I apologize for that being out of focus, um, but let's go ahead and just stick that right in here. Oops, just need to go back one. Okay, so next thing we're going to need, um, in addition to obviously the, the, the button and the, uh, the little bulb here, we're going to need some resistors. There's going to be three 220 resistors and one 10K resistor. And we're going to put those three uh, 220s over here on the bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on the red. And then we're going to skip the ground. We don't need to we don't need a resistor on the ground. So then we'll skip that one. We'll go to the green and we'll plug in. Hopefully that's right. Hopefully it's gone in there enough. And then we're going to do one more on the blue here. All right. And it doesn't really matter here that the uh, the red one is a little further out than the other two were, but for the sake of keeping things clean, we'll go ahead and fix that. Like so. So we've got we've got our red, green, and blue, all with a 220 on it, uh, just to make sure we don't send too much power to any of those. Okay, so I had a bit of a camera glitch with the overhead here. So um, I <clears throat> didn't realize it until after I'd already got some other stuff done. So uh, if we take a look here, um, I added, we already had the button. Uh, we already had our light. We had our three uh, resistors in here. These are 220s. I've grounded the negative pin on this RGB light. I have grounded this other side, or I've grounded one side of the button, and I've got a 10K resistor on the other side of the button. So now we're all caught up. Every, everybody should be on the same page here. I do apologize for that. I'm gonna to try to be more careful uh, <laughs> keeping an eye on that stuff, but that's where we are there. So the next thing we need to do is actually get our Arduino out. Um, so hopefully you're fairly familiar with these. Uh, pretty. Uh, these are pretty standard across the board, no matter who they're made by, which I really appreciate. I love that these are open sourced um, and uh, basically anybody can make one. So, uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually turn this around to go this way. So we're gonna start wiring the breadboard to the actual Arduino here. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and let's get our uh, five volt hooked up. Now you're going to see on this side over here, we've got um, all of it. They're all labeled here on the side as well as on the top of the board here. So uh, so that way you can definitely make sure you get the right plug here. We want to go on the five volt here and we just want to plug that into the positive rail on our breadboard. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're also going to do the same thing uh, with the ground. So we'll just come over here. We'll uh, plug this one in to the ground rail and then there's actually two, oops, let's do it that way. There we go. There's actually two uh, ground pins on um, the Arduino. So you can pick and choose either of those that you'd like to use. So pretty, pretty straightforward standard stuff there. Um, <clears throat> next thing is we want to hook up our button. And I, now in our code that I've already written, this will all be shared on uh, my blog post as well. Um, but I've got the, the button set to go to pin three. So we're going to go ahead and go right in between the button and the resistor and plug this in right here. And then we'll come over to pin three. Now, if you're looking at this from the top saying, well, that looks like pin four, that's because your pins start at zero. So pin four is actually pin three. So just something to keep in mind there. And then we're gonna have red, green, and blue um, that we need to attach to the board as well. Um, so we're gonna go, our red pin is gonna go right here. Actually, we can bring it up. 
no let's go let's go all the way out like so and I've got red on nine oops that's eight there's nine then I've got green on ten so remember we went red then negative then green then green so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in on pin 10 like so and then we're gonna do blue and we're gonna do that on pin 11 same thing we're gonna plug in here and then we'll plug in to pin 11 on our board and that's it that's all there is to the actual wiring portion of this um, of this little project. Now the next thing we've got to do is actually plug in our data cable here. Uh, it's this guy right here. We're going to plug one end into uh, the, the board. We're going to plug the other end to our USB device. Uh, I'm actually going to plug it into my keyboard because that's what I've got that is nearby. Um, and then I'll show you how to uh, get your board set up and actually push the code. Or we'll look, take a look at the code very briefly and I'll show you how to push the code to your uh, Arduino. Okay, so here we've got our board plugged in. You can see that the light there is on, so that's good. That means things are uh, theoretically working, uh, at least to that degree. So um, here we've got our code, and so basically the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, define um, all of our different pins uh, for the for the button, the red pin, green pin, blue pin, and the counter. The counter is actually going to be uh, what we use to tell the light and the board what to do. And every time we press the button, that counter is going to increase by one. And that's kind of what we're looking at in this little section down here. Um, right above that, below the, or in the void setup, we're defining things as either inputs or outputs. And then below that, um, it's saying, hey, grab the button state, uh, whatever that happens to be. Um, and then it's going to be a, a button pin. It's going to be a digital read. So um, below that, it says if the button equals low, and that means if the if you've pressed the button down uh, into the low position, I think that's the easiest way to remember it, um, then increase the counter by one and wait uh, 250 milliseconds or about a quarter of a second. <clears throat> if the counter value is zero, then all of these, the red, green, and blue will all be low or off in this case. If the counter is one, um, then turn on or set the red pin to high, but leave the other two low. If the counter is two, um, then we're going to turn off. We're going to set the, the red pin to low. Then we're going to turn the green pin to high or on. And then the blue pin will stay low. Uh, same thing, taking it a step further on pin three, or on counter, or, or once the counter hits three, then turn off, make sure the red and the green pin are off, but the blue pin is on. And if the counter is at four, uh, then we're going to turn on the red and the blue pin so that we get a purple. So um, otherwise, set everything to zero. Those are your, your five options, either off, um, red, green, blue, or purple. So at that point, what we want to do and bring that over. I may have to fix that in, in post. Um, we want to go over here to options. We want to make sure that we've selected um, our board as being Arduino um, Uno. That's good. And then we want to make sure that our core or that our port here is uh, set to COM6. I believe COM6 is the standard communication port for an Arduino Uno. Um, so that's what I've got selected here. Um, so then what I can go ahead and do here is I can click verify to make sure that uh, all of the code looks good. Um, if if it if there's a problem with the code, um, you know, like if I had if I had removed um, that uh, that bracket and then clicked verify, um, then it's gonna it's gonna throw up an error down here, um, and it'll actually take me right to where it's supposed to be. So we'll go ahead and put that back in. We'll click verify again. Everything's good. So then I'll go ahead and click um, the arrow, which is to upload. And when I do that. You, you can see all of these lights flicker for a second. And then if I press, we get red. If I press, we get green. If I press, we get blue. If I press, we get purple. And if I press, we get off. Okay, guys, so there you go. There's a quick little project um, that I used only parts from um, the, the Arduino Uno basic starter kit that Elegoo was awesome enough to send over for me to take a look at. So uh, if you want to pick up one of these kits, uh, I will have uh, links to, um, to this kit. I've actually got a bigger kit um, that I bought a while back. Um, it's their superior starter kit, uh, this big one right here. Um, I've also got... 
um, a resistor kit um, that I bought that's got 1,500 pieces or something in it. Um, and oh, also um, this solid core wire. Um, I know that these often or almost always come with these little pre pre built or pre determined sizes of wires. But I like to be I like my wires to be clean, be certain lengths, that sort of thing. So that's why as I was building this, you saw that all of my um, all of my my cables were already cut to length. I'd already done that, and that's why I like um, having this this spool of different sizes or different colored wires, so I can cut them to whatever size I need. So I will have links to absolutely everything um, in the description down below, so you can go ahead and pick one of these up. Um, also, again, go check out Elagu. They're a great company. Um, I actually bought the their their big kit, uh, their Superior Starter Kit. Um, a few months ago and kind of played around with it a little bit and then they reached out to me here recently via email and asked if I wanted to take a look at their starter kit. Uh, it's cheap. It's like less than 20 bucks on Amazon right now. Um, so again, I'll have links to all of this stuff in the description down below. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Uh, so as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.